We're trying to change perceptions. We're trying to show that young people are capable, that they really are our future, and show them what we mean by that. My name is Tindai Paswanishka. I work for the Youth Employment Network. I'm the Youth to Youth Fund Task Lead, and I'm here in Sierra Leone to evaluate some of our projects. We give grants to youth-led organizations. These are non-profit organizations which come up with an innovative idea to create jobs for other young people. What I think is more important here is how we should put the business forward to see that this program becomes a success story. They will recruit young people as beneficiaries and help these young people to start up a business and set them up. What's exciting is seeing the kinds of projects coming out of the Youth to Youth Fund. We have Sierra Leone's first ink refilling company and they've just opened their doors. It's very common that when people do projects normally in Africa, we do it like local, maybe like cassava planting or soap making, that outside. And so we wanted to do something different. We wanted to bring something more innovative into the market. At the same time, fight our cause to save the climate. The Made in Salon Cooperative is um, a cooperative that was set up by Mesa Partnership Trust through the Youth to Youth Fund, Yen and Unido. And it's a cooperative that refills and remanufactures used ink and cartridges at a lower cost but at high value. The process of bringing to reality the Made in Salon Cooperative has been a long journey. It started by us applying, after which we had um, training from Yen. And the next stage was to select beneficiaries, which we did via consultations and meetings with stakeholders. After which these beneficiaries were trained and now they are running their business. We had them trained on soft skills and technical training which is actually the refilling and remanufacturing of inks and toners. And these skills include um, marketing, customer care, their corporate social responsibility as a business in their locality, leadership, mentoring and a lot more. The UNIDO coordinator comes in once a month to do monitoring and evaluation and when we need some things that we need clarifications, it's very easy for us because they are locally, so we can easily call them and they keep us up to speed. So the relationship between MPT and UNIDO has been a good one. Doing a, a project to refill and remanufacture inks is something that we always wanted to do. So the Youth to Youth Fund has helped us to tick that box that we are done with this. In addition to these very innovative projects, we also have some simpler projects which also have a really important role to play. I'm Abu K. Kamara. I've come to Jamima to do some harvesting with the good keepers. Take care. We are working in six communities in Kenema district and each community we have 10 women and each woman is looking after 10 hives and automatically we create a job for 60 young women across Kenema district. We use the youth fund by bringing up the women on board. We purchase hives, bead keeping materials, protective gears. Mm. When we harvest, we squeeze, we transport the honey to the center. We double boil the honey and then we shave it five times. Then we bottle it and then we see we sell. One of the outstanding, really I admire the project is Isa too. Her husband is jobless and then she caters for the house. At any time I call on her to go to the field, she's ready and she loves the project. She's a very hardworking young woman. 
the only program I don't begin for make I don't free free. Let me for pick it. I want men they know. The money where they get and the time I know they will do business. I know they do market because the time I know they get chop chop no be day. And my man no get. I mean where I no get pass this only program. Hold up, begin for hold that small small money day. I don't want for picking me picking the all. I want let them learn. Let them go school. We've actually had very positive feedback with the honey. Most notably, uh, Whole Foods is interested in having this honey supplied to them and sold in their branches in, in North America. When I come and see the projects and I see that these projects that were just some words on a paper at one point, and then you now see what young people have done and you see how it's impacting on someone's life. And you, to know that you had a small role to play with changing someone's life, it's, it's an incredible feeling. We're looking at replicating the projects that have been successful. We're looking at expanding to new countries. We're also looking at growth. And so we want those businesses that exist already to continue to grow and expand in their own right. So the future is very bright and there's lots of opportunities coming up. Mm -hmm.